Welcome to ICT7. Today we will tackle the week 8, the spreadsheet software or what we call Excel. Under the spreadsheet software, we have the conditional formatting functions and data analysis. First, let us define what is conditional formatting. A conditional formatting is a feature in Excel that lets you change the appearance of cells based on a certain conditions. How to use conditional formatting? First, select the cells you want to apply conditional formatting to. Then go to the Home tab on the Excel ribbon. Look for the conditional formatting options. It might be under the Styles group. Click on it and you'll see a bunch of different rules you can choose from like highlight cells rules or top bottom rules. Okay, so we have a types of conditional formatting. First, the highlight cells rules. These rules let you choose how to format cells based on their values. You can make cells with certain values bold, italic, or change their background color. So under the highlight cells rules, we have the greater than, less than, between equal to text that contains a date occurring and duplicate values. Second, top bottom rules. These rules let you format cells that are in the top or bottom percentage or number in your data. Under top bottom rules, we have the top 10 items, the top 10%, the bottom 10 per items, the bottom 10%, the above average, and also the below average. Third, data bars, the color scales, and icon sets. The data bar shows the relationship of values in a cell range. Next, the color scale shows the relationship of values in a cell range. So when we click the more rules, it shows the new formatting rule. Next, the icon sets. A cell range that contains three to five groups of values where each group has its own threshold. We have directional, the shapes, the indicators, and the ratings. Fourth, creating your own rules. If none of the preset rules suit your needs, you can create custom rules. This allows you to specify exactly what condition should trigger the formatting you want. Okay, next subtopic number two is the analyze data. Analyze data empowers you to understand your data through natural language queries that allow you to ask questions about your data without having to write complicated formulas. How to use the Analyze Data feature in Excel? The five easy methods. First, method one, using FIBO tables to analyze data. Select your full data set from the worksheet and click the Analyze Data options from the Home tab. There will be a task pane on the right of your worksheets. Under Discover Insights, click Insert FIBO Table. A new sheet will be created with the FIBOT table. Method 2, using charts to analyze data, prepare the grade sheets of learners for quarter 1 and quarter 2. Select the table, open the Analyze Data task pane, and choose Insert Chart. A new chart will be created. Method 3, using graphs to analyze data, Open the Analyze Data task pane. Choose Insert Chart. A new graph will be created. Method 4. Asking questions per custom results. Open the Analyze Data task pane and choose Ask a question about your data. The answer will appear below the question box. And choose Insert Bible Chart if needed. 
And last, the matter of five, using the suggested questions list of the analyzed data type just below, search the question bar, you will see suggested questions. Choose any of the suggested questions. That's the end of our lesson for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and share, subscribe, and hit the bell button.